Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Online Smicha. And Shishi and this week's Parsha, Parsha's Chayisara, after the Shidduch of Yitzchak and Rivka, the Pasik says, Vayosef Avram, Vayikach Isha Ushmak Tura. And Avram proceeded and took a wife whose name was Keturah. Who is this Keturah? Obviously, in the beginning of the Parsha, the name, is, the name of the Parsha is Chayisara. In the beginning of the parsha, we know that Sarah passes away, and Avram negotiates and gets the Maris and Machpel, and he buries Sarah. So who is this Keturah? So Rashi says, who is Keturah? Rashi Aleph, Keturah Zu Hagar. This is the Hagar that was sent away a long time ago. So why is the name changed to Keturah? Says Rashi, even the Kras Keturah Al Shem Shenoi Maase Kikteres. Explains Rashi, now her name is, is, is uh, Keturah because her name, her, her deeds became beautiful as the Keturah. She became a changed person. And now Avram Avinu remarried her. And Rashi goes on to explain, she, she did not live with anybody from the time she separated from Avram. She became a total totally new, uh, made over, different person, Kik Tyrus. Now, I did read in a Sefer Minchas Yitzchak from Dying Weiss that he has a Hasidah shot on this, on this uh, interpretation, this Pirish of Rashi, and based on the Medrash. The Medrash says that the first capital in Tilim, Ashrei Ish Asher Lehalach Ba'atzas Rishoyim, the Medrash says that Ze Avram, that the first capital at Hillim, David Amelech was was Meramez, is saying this on Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu with, withstood all the Rishayim. He was the first one. Everybody was Oved Zara. He was Makir as Bayrei. And it goes on, the, the Pasuk, the Psukim go on to say, V'chol HaShayase Yatzliach, and all that they do, they'll be successful. Elu B'nei Ketura. Those are, though, who are, who are the B'nei, who are the Pasuk mean? Who, what does the Pasuk mean? V'chol ha'shiyasi yatzliach. They'll be successful. Whatever they do, those are the children of Ketura. Shenamar v'yosef v'yosef Avram. This Pasuk that we're recording now, v'yikach isha. Now, and the Medrash goes on to say, Shesulim b'veis Hashem, Oid Yenuvim B'Seva, at the older age, and ripe age, Ze Avram Avinu, Avram Avinu in his older age, as we are talking about now, the Shainim V'Rananim Yiyu, even in old age, they have good children. What, what, is, what, what is going on here? K'tairas, Ketura, good children, and why specifically K'tairas? So he explains like this. What we know that about Avram and earlier was also discussed about the mission and life of Sarah, Avram, Megayer, Anashim, and Esamnefesh uh, Asha Asu Bacharon. Avram and Sarah, their mission and life were to tell people about the Hashem, to, to tell people that there is an Abishta after Velt, and they are Anefesh Asher Asu Bacharon. They, they actually created people until they came along, the people didn't know. That there is a gay Abishta, there is a God in the world. And so much so, they did it in a very unique way. Even those that seem to criticize and say, you know, there are opinions that said that Avram Avinu was not Makar Bayre till later on in his life, till, uh, you know, some say three, some say at 40. So the first 40 years in his life, Chas Visholim, he, he was a Ayvid of Zara. No, that works for the benefit. Because Dafka, because he, he knows how those people behave, those 40 years, Avram Avinu eventually is able to lower himself down to that level to elevate those people, to talk to them and see where they're making the mistake and talk to them to bring them up to what really is supposed to be. And only a, a person like Avram is able to be my other people, to elevate them to where they're supposed to be, as the famous story of the Baal Shem Tev, that the Baal Shem Tev once, in the, in the era of Yom Kippur, the Baal Shem Tev had to wait, was waiting, because he was waiting for a Russia 
to finish his tefillah. And he said the Russia in a far distant country, his tefillah, specifically his tefillah, is the one that, that crashed the Olamos and that Abishta is waiting for his tefillah. And we know that amongst the Gemara tells us that amongst the, the, the Keturahs, and this is specifically the connection to Ketura, amongst the Keturahs, the, 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 the spices that was used for the Keturahs, there was the Chelbana. And what was the Chelbana? The Gemara says it was Reach Ra. It had a very bad smell. Umana HaKasav Beisamemane HaKeturahs. Even though it had a very bad smell, it was one, the Torah says, it is one of the, ba- one of the simamon, simamon that have to be used. L'lamdeinu, to teach us a lesson. Shalayakel be'ineinu l'tzaref imonu ba'agudas taniseinu. That we should not cheapen. We should not push away. When we gather together in a fast day or in a community gathering, never push away anybody who is, who is second class. Somebody who you think is a Pesha Yisrael. You, you never allow to push somebody like that away. And we know the, 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 the Remez, the Rashi Tevis of Tzibur, is Sadikim, Beninim, or Rishayim. Only when we have a little of everyone, that's when the community is made up as a Tzibur. So perhaps when Avram Avinu reaches his old age, only when he reaches his old age, and he's able to be doom of tzayim and r- bring more and more people closer to Abishta, closer to Yiddishkeit. And he does Keteris. What type of a Keteris? The Keteris is to lower down to those people who need help. And he takes the Chelbana. He takes the ones that Re'achra, that don't have the pleasant smell. And he elevates them. That is what it says over here. By Yosef Avram. Avram uses his, 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 his quality that he knows where he came from. He knows that he grew up in a Terach's era. He knows that he has, he knows what it means to, to, to be uh, even of a at one period of time. He, and he goes out to the public. He goes out to the Gash mystical world. And he goes out to use Keteris even to the Reach Ra. And he elevates that. And that is the Shainim Veranim Yil.